Oh. <laughs> what the fudge was that? <laughs> <laughs> what should we do for an intro? That, that's it. Hey guys, it's Sophie. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are ranking our game. <laughs> we, you we haven't done this in oh a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, we haven't filmed since December, so I came up with this video idea because for my Christmas gifts, he got me a bunch of board games because we're we like board games. We're bored in our house a lot, so we have stuff to play we're now. Bored in the house, and we're in the house. Bored, bored in the house, and I'm in the house bored. <laughs> oh my yeah, gosh. that's a throwby. But anyway, so <laughs> we throwby throwback. Yeah. You never called it. What am, is it? Me? Anyway, am I the drama? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Did you hear that one? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Am I the drama? Anyway, okay. So, we've been watching tearless videos lately because when we when we were eating Taco Bell, we watched these two guys rank Taco Bell foods while we were eating Taco Bell. And then when we were eating McDonald's, we were watching those same two guys rank McDonald's foods. So we're on like a tearless kick, so I thought we'd film one ourselves. And Solomon made it. I like wrote down the games I think should go on it, but he made it. So let's see what he captioned them. So, babe, you did bestest? Pretty good. Meh. Meh. It's bad. It's very bad. It's very bad. Oh, hi, Andy, my kitty boy. Anyway. So, are we doing this together? Okay, yeah. Okay, this is going to be very hard for us. We have Monopoly on here, Battleship, Sorry. Jenga, Trouble, Shoots and Ladders, Operation, Mousetrap, Mancala, Yahtzee, oh, so many games. Guess Who, Scrabble, Trivial Pursuit, Uno, Twister, Catan, Clue, Chess, Checkers, Risk. Why are you trying to do that? You're like not even lining up with what I'm saying. I was just counting make sure they were all were on there. There's okay. 23 in total. 23. Candyland, Life, and Connect 4. So, yeah. he added a couple on there. Like, Uno's not a board game. That's a card game. Well, um, alright, I'm gonna scroll up for a second. But I, he says it should be on there, so I said, fine, if you add Uno, you have to add Twister. Because I love Twister. Oh, never mind, never mind. I, I forgot. Um, basically... I had to remake the the tier list the second time because the first time it didn't work. Oh, see, and that's why I hate making it. Apparently, them. I named it just the best board games, but the first time I know, I named it best board games plus Uno. Because <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I was going to scroll up and be like, haha. But I, I, I forgot. It's really hard because. <laughs> forgot I changed it. I don't know how we're ever going to agree because I don't like strategy games besides chess and you don't like fun games besides like. Fun games? Okay. That is already... You don't like games where you don't have to think, and that's the only games I like. Okay, but you can't call them fun <laughs> games when you're saying that mine aren't Oh, fun. never mind. I thought you forgot Battleship. I was about to rage. Battleship's oh. good. Okay, let's just start with Monopoly. That's the most iconic so, board game, probably. And it's the first one on there. It's pretty good. Uh, is it bestest? I love I would Monopoly. Say, I would say Monopoly is a very pretty good. Like, it's either it like top tier, tier or lower tier. We'll put it there for now, but we might move it, I feel. It's pretty good. Okay, let's be real. Monopoly's the most well-known board game, right? Chess. Really? Chess. Okay, besides that, <laughs> you and me, none of our friends play chess, so that shocks me. Okay, chess is, like, ancient. Most people, Everyone knows what chess is. Most people is. don't even know what the pieces do. Fair enough, they but don't. chess My is friends ancient. don't know. Okay, next. Should we just go in line, or should we go with what we want? I, I don't... I mean... You... We'll just go on order, I guess. Either we'll way do, it works. We'll do Battleship next. It's I love decision. Battleship. It's meh. Uh-uh, it's either pretty good or meh. I really like Battleship. So, it's meh. You agree. Or pretty good. <laughs> but I didn't automatically think meh. I thought pretty so, good meh. or meh. It's alright. It's okay. Sorry, I would put that in bestest. Best it's, it is. It's fun. It's you get easy to, to learn. You get to screw people over and just laugh maniacally. It's... It's a grand talk. When I say sorry, I mean it. And then he starts killing me to the point where when I say sorry, I don't mean it at all. I don't even say sorry. I'm just what? like, hey, hey. I'm usually the nice guy in that game. I just like to watch everyone else fight. I usually don't actually fight anybody. I just kind of mind my own business. I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know. I kind of start to, like, <laughs> kill you, and then you get mean, and then I don't feel bad anymore. But I kill you when I don't have an option, and you still get mad. <laughs> I mean, I only... I only kill people if it benefits me most. I just strictly play to help myself, never to spite someone else. 
All right, Jenga. Oh, uh, it's see, bad. What? It's bad. I'm gonna say it's mad pretty good again. I could deal with mad. I like that. Okay, I would never do this because I'm too shy. But your friends have a Jenga where it's like take. Five shots, kiss the person next to you. I couldn't do that because, like, I don't want to kiss anybody else and I don't, like, want to take five shots. But, like, that's really funny. Like, if, I guess if you don't like Jenga and you want to spice it up, I'd give it a. Um, okay, you can't do less than men, in my opinion. I, men. I, don't know. I, would, I love Jenga. Everybody can do that. Everyone can do it, but it's just, like, pretty much every, every board game that I will rate above. Meh. It's a board game where I've had a time where I've walked away with it being like, wow, that was really fun. Every time I play Jenga, I walk away going, wow, I played Jenga. Wow, so when we <laughs> played Jenga together on Christmas morning, you would say, eh, that was pretty good. Eh, that was pretty meh. You yeah. didn't think it was fun? It's Jenga. It's always the same. Why would you it's buy it Jenga. for me then if you don't even like it? Because you like it and I'll play with you. Okay. It's. I'm not saying... To be fair, I know that it says it's bad, it's very bad, but it's re in relativity to the other board games. I think all these board games, besides one of them, I'll get to that later, I think all these board games are, are good. Trouble, how do you feel about Trouble? Oh, Trouble's pretty good. It's like, sorry. It's sorry, but not as much fun. Yeah, I, I like it Which makes me want to rate it lower than I think it actually is. I think because it's pretty good. I would rather play sorry in like every sense of the word. It is fun though to like do it can and you see even, the dice roll. Can you even kill people in trouble? Yes, you can okay, land on okay. them. You land on them, same as sorry. Meh. I think it's pretty good. We, we can't agree on anything. You're gonna put Catan and Risk up there and I would put them in dead last. Well, we'll have to compromise. <laughs> I, I can't do that. <laughs> I would say Trouble is if bad, you, but I'll, I can, I can compromise to, I can even compromise to I pretty good. I think it's good. pretty good, that's what I said. All right, I can compromise. All right, Shoots and Ladders was one of my- Very bad. No, 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 it's what, it's bad. This is my It was least one favorite. of my favorite games growing up, but like nowadays, I would say it's bad. This is like the only one where if someone said, hey, do you want to play Shoots and Ladders? I would say no every time. See, I would still play it, but like I every don't time. love it as much as I did. Like when I was a kid, just, I loved it. It's not fun. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. For now, it can go in. It's very bad. I would say it's just bad. It's, it's very... Operation is very bad. I don't like that game. I know it's popular, but I don't like it. I would just go, it's bad. It but, gives I me mean, anxiety. I, like, uh-uh. I don't feel anything for this game, really, so yeah. <laughs> I guess it I gives me anxiety, right even though it's a fake person. Mouse trap. That was bestest. Like, back in the day, I would play that for hours. I think... Or pretty good. I would go more pretty good because I think it's a really fun idea. It's not as fun in execution. But like, setting it up stuff. This, yeah. Like, like I mean, you set it, it you set it up as you go. That's part of the game. It's like you you don't just have all the pieces. Well, I know together. when you take it down though, it's kind of a lot. Or if you yeah. lose the pieces, which I did as a kid. I think I think the whole like you set it up as you go, so like each person gets to, like add pieces. I think that's a really fun element. It's so creative though. There's like not There's, games like it. It is like it. very creative. It's pretty I, good I, then. I'll give it extra props. Okay, man, Call It is bestest. You're not fighting me on this. It's one of my favorite games ever. I played it for hours straight as a kid, and I still would today. Alright, right, I can, I can, I can do man. That is bestest. That's like top tier right there. Alright, I'm just gonna switch gears here for a second. Risk is bestest Ooh, because I hate you can't risk. fight me on that because it's my favorite game. Fine, where would you put Mancala? We're not putting Risk in best. I will kill myself. Wait, that was dramatic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I put Mancala and it's bad. No. <laughs> Honestly, like it's, it's okay. Can we do pretty good? You can do pretty good. And then Risk is no more than meh, in my opinion. Okay, it has to at least be pretty good. I will. What not. if Mancala was in meh? I, 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 no. What if Mancala was in meh? I will, I can contest that. I will, in, there is in no universe where I put Risk lower than Mancala. It's so much better than Risk though, I, it hurts We could put soul. both of them in bestest as our favorite game. But like, how does that work when one of us hates the other one? They're our favorite games, so they're the bestest to us, and then we have Sorry, which is the bestest of both. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. Bestest Mancala for me. Best, this is risk for you. Ooh. Oh, I yeah, hate risk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it, I can't do it. Yahtzee. That's a miss. I'd say pretty good, but we can compromise I, for I, I, We can do that. Indy. Hey, wait, wait. My cat, you guys. I wish you could see him. He's just like walking all around. All right. Guess, guess who? who? 
It's bad, but when I was a kid, I loved it. It's it's bad, but it can have very fun moments. If you get a girl, like, though, you, you're kind of screwed. There's like no girls, so like also like you're gonna you, guess it right away. If you away. guess the right person like right away, that can be kind of satisfying. But overall, I would say yeah. It's, I want it's game over though if you guess the right person right away. Yeah. Scrabble is bad. I don't think it's or is it very bad? Oh, probably for it. I just I'm not a good speller. I'm not a word guy. I like reading and I like writing, but like we're in the age of technology, so like autocorrect. I can't spell crap anymore, I swear mm -hmm. to God. So even though I wish I liked it more because I like to read and write, without autocorrect, my spelling sucks. So I'm gonna put it's very bad. But I'll still play it. Like my cousin loves it and I'll play Trivial it. Trivial pursuit. It's bad. I don't like it. I've played it once with my whole family. I'll say this, it's a game that has only suffered from time because none of the questions feel are relevant. relevant You'd have to pick one if, that's if like relevant. If you get like a Trivial Pursuit 2021 or 2022 version or yeah. whatever, you can have a lot more fun or with Or like it. a Disney one because I know Disney. You the know fact what I mean? that you have to like keep buying the same game, Yeah. this feels like a game a that money they grab should, they should really of. almost turn it into like an app. Oh, like that could be fun, fun yeah. Game or like, so they can update the questions. 60s edition, 70s edition, so like again, whatever generation didn't they, wants to didn't play they basically, it. Wasn't that basically just like, like what Trivia Crack was? Was it Trivia Crack? I don't know. I think Trivia Crack took some notes from it. I'd say it's either bad or very bad. I would say it's bad just because you kind of have to keep updating. But it's a classic, and it's so... it's a board game, so you can't update. We had to put it in here because it's a classic. Uno! Uno best best <laughs> We are children! We are love children! love Uno. Uno! Okay, if you haven't played Skippo, mm. play Skippo, it's better. But Uno's fun. Okay. You cannot just scream bestest with me and then say another game is better. Well, I, but I put Skippo and bestest clearly too. Clearly not. Although, what is with kids? Skippo's okay. not even on our list. What's with kids nowadays reason. not liking Uno? My little brother, who's 11, doesn't like Uno. Some of the kids I work with who are like six, five years old don't like Uno. Why are new kids not liking it? It's like frustrating me. Because it's such a we, classic. We all understand Uno is the game of savage <laughs> and kids don't like it when you're savage to them. They want to win. I'll never let a child beat me in Uno though. See, I don't let I don't let my little brother oh. win either, but like I don't take joy in beating him either. I mean I take joy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, there is other games where I will let a kid beat me. Like, if I play chess with a kid, I'll go easy on them. Like, there's something about Uno, and kind of sorry too, where it's like... They're easy enough where you don't have you, to let them win. They, like, they should be able to do it. Also, like, it's an unspoken rule, but like, both of those games, being an asshole is kind of part of the game. Like, if you don't kill My people boyfriend, and ladies sorry, and gentlemen. like, you're not really you're not playing, playing the sorry, game. right? Yeah. You gotta screw people over in Uno. That's just okay. Uno, baby. I think the golden question of Uno is though, because every time I play it, it's different. Do you pick until you get the card, or do you pick one? I mean, I think that's the joy of Uno. You can always make like Like, everyone rules. has their own house rules. Some people- And I think that makes it more fun. Some people let you like put a plus two on top of a plus two, so then the person Heck has to pick yeah. four, but some people don't Heck let that. Yeah. Like, I think that's also kind of fun of it. Like, it can change with can whoever change you're so playing much. with. So that's kind of fun. Mm -mm -mm. Twister? Twister. Okay, I wanted it in here, but I would say it's, it's bad. bad. <laughs> Why did you fight so hard to put <laughs> Because when I was a kid, I really me. liked it, but I'm not flexible anymore. But like, it is a classic. And if you're like flexible and you don't mind getting into people's bubbles, I get why it's really fun. Or if you're like drunk, that could be really funny. It's a classic. That's why I put it in you here. You know, one thing that I'm kind of noticing just at looking at this board. What? But the games that are more like child oriented <laughs> are so colorful. Oh, I thought you were gonna say compared to the like, other ones. They are like, colorful, yeah. Twister. It's and like then a rainbow. Right next to Trivial Pursuit. It's boring. It's like a, it's <laughs> so monotone. Katan. Oh no. Pretty. I played it once with you and your friend, and I was not. It's not into really it. risk level. Can we put it in meh? Because I don't like it, and you would say pretty good. That's I like, would. I yeah. I can. I can compromise. See, I'm a good compromise. I know, I'm not very good at it. Clue, Clue is pretty good. Pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm not very good at it because, like, I can't figure it out faster than him and he always beats me. But eventually I do get it. And I really like it because I have a good memory associated to it. So we played Clue with one of his best friends who moved away, but he would always be Mrs. Peacock. And he'd, like, have, he'd do this, like, funny voice for her. 
And then you do a funny voice for Colonel Mustard too. Colonel Mustard. With the, what is it? With the revolver. Do it, do it. With the revolver. And then when I was I'm the, not a good voice when I was Scarlet, I'd be all like, I'd be like, the revolver. Like I tried to sound all like, huh? Cause she was like a sexy airhead. Like I like oh. the accents we put on them. It's fun, but it is cringe. And I realized that. Yeah, yeah. So pretty good is pretty good. All right. Chess is best. Chess, the original game. Best is. It's bad. We like bought chess. it just recently. We play it. That's why I really like chess. Why don't you with chess? I hear actually, honestly, I was kind of exaggerating. I would say it's more meh. Okay, chess is like I love it until the very end because I always stalemate myself. Like I can get it to where I'm beating him and killing his people, but then as soon as we're down to the last pieces, he will win or tie because I always stalemate she myself. She doesn't know how to do the easiest part of the game. Like I'll have just my king, and she'll have like a king, queen, and like a. A rook. A rook. And she's like, oh my gosh, how do I do it? I'm like, just make I a like, line and I see, force me back. I see, like, like, not that I see like A, B, but I can't C, C. You know what I mean? Like, I can't finish it. So because of that, we'll put it in pretty good then. Because it always plagues me. Or meh, I guess, because you don't like it. It's... I, I like it more than checkers. I think it's meh, but I can deal with pretty good. I just will not put chess in like, justice. Like, checkers is boring like, when you compare it to chess. Like, when I look at this boring. list... Over half the games, in my opinion, are better than chess. What? And that's just a... F I would play Uno over chess. I would play Risk over chess. I would play Sorry over See? chess. Monopoly. Trouble. That. Clue. That surprises Catan, me, though, because... Yahtzee. You love strategy games. Jenga, Risk, Gatan. Those are strategy games. And now, the only strategy game I like, you're saying you don't like it now. I never liked chess. What do you mean now? Oh. You've known this about me. How many hours did we play chess when we first started dating? Way Hundreds. Too many. Like, because I wanted to win so bad, and I think I only won like once or twice. Because I didn't know how to play chess at all when we first started dating. So I've definitely gotten a lot better. Checkers. Okay. Boring. It's chess. It's but bad. Worse. It's bad. It's boring. I don't like checkers. It's bad. It's bad. It's very bad. No, it's just bad. It's very. It's, it's bad. It's, it's bad. Okay, I would it's say very it's very bad, yeah. Because I would say that <laughs> the next one is it's bad. Candy Land. You know what? I will put I'll put Checkers up here if we can put Candy Land. I will put Candy Land bad. over Checkers. Candy Land's at least colorful and fun. Checkers is just black and red and boring. Candy Land reminds me of the like the hell, hey fellow kids meme. Like it's this was the brainchild of some executive with no kids <laughs> trying to make a game relatable to kids. Ah, oh, what are kids like? Uh, candy! Uh, Did it come out when Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Did it come out when Charlie and the Chocolate Factory came out? Because those seem very similar to me. I think it's older than that. I don't know. I probably liked it when I was younger because it is colorful, but as long as I can functionally remember, I have not liked Candyland. I'd say it's bad and Checkers is worse. Like, chess is so much more superior. Like, at least it's not boring. Like, checkers is just boring. I'll, I'll, I'll say this. The thing about Candyland that kind of gets me is every single one of these games that I've just kind of grown out of and don't like as much anymore. Like, I used to like Trouble I way more than I do now. I used to love Twister, Operation, Shoots and Ladders. Guess who? <laughs> I've grown out of all of them. Yeah, same. Candyland is the only one that I remember not really liking as a kid. Really? And that kind of is why I think it's probably even worse than it is. The only one I remember not liking as a kid is Trivial Pursuit. Because, like, when I was a kid, I took spelling, like, we had spelling um, tests in elementary school. So I was decent at Scrabble. But now that I don't ever do spelling <laughs> tests, I don't know how to spell anymore. <laughs> I don't, okay. I don't remember playing Trivial Pursuit till I was like 12 I didn't and play we Trivial found Pursuit it in my, like 12, in my yeah. grandma's house. And Same grandma's house. Yep. <laughs> all of the questions were just like, I don't know. I don't know who That's the heck that even time. is. Alright, life. life is meh. meh or pretty good. I would say life is like the definition of a meh. It is, yeah, thing. it's pretty meh. <laughs> well, that, that takes setup because it has so many pieces to it. Oh my god. And like, you can buy ones that I don't think you need to put any pieces on, though. Really? How does it fold up, then, if you don't put, like... Because if you put the, like, bridges and stuff on it, well, it doesn't fold. I think it just has, like, flat bridges. Oh, well, that would have been nice. 
When I was young, we had to take them out and put them on every time. The forever. one I had as a kid is the one you're talking about where you had to, like, put the stuff on. But, like, I'm, like, don't quote me on this, but I'm, like, 99% sure they they make ones that are just boards. Like, they that, they should have done that to begin with. Connect Four for me. That's bad. No, it's not. I love it. Do you want me to? I won't tell him. He's not good I'm enough. I'm not good at Connect Four. He's like the smartest like, I person know. I know, yet he can't do that game. Like, I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. I'll say I'm bad at Connect Four. I think for the same exact reason that I'm not good at chess. I just, it's not interesting enough to, like, keep me invested. I so I just don't care See, and start uh, randomly doing stuff because I, I just want to be dumb. I honestly think it's meh, but there's so many in meh. I want like another one and it's bad so it all lines up. That's No, but it's not bad though. It is though. I would put it in very bad. Well, maybe, I think it, is it more interesting than Jenga? No. No? I mean, this hurts my soul because the only games on here that I don't like are Risk, Catan, <laughs> and Checkers. An operation. Every other game I would st oh and yeah I said checkers okay. Every other game I would still play and enjoy but not as much as like others. Yeah I get that. But man Kala is like top top You for know me. one thing that does Uno's bug top. One thing that does bug me about Risk is she bought me a Risk board We've game. We've never played. Very it. sweet. Very cute. She knows my favorite board game. She refuses to ever play it with me ever, and it's kind of like, why do I even own this? Because I, I only, wanted it, and your friends I only friends ever over. play Risk oh when I'm at flat. someone else's place and they have Risk and want to play. Okay, what happens because is... Because she won't play with me. If no. one of your friends came over and wanted to play Risk, I would totally be down for that, but I just want to watch. And you won't let you me sit out. You need more than two people to play... Risk is like a... I would... I've played it with three people. I would say Risk is... To have like a fun game, I would say is a four player experience. You wanna know why I'm gonna call it? You can go like four to and six. And sorry are my favorite games because you can easily play it with two people. And most of the time it's just the two of us. So I feel like that's why those games are my top. I need a game where it's still fun even if you have two people playing it. Like that's what makes it gold. If you need a bunch of people and you're bored in your house and it's just two people, what's the point? We might as well play solitaire because like then you can have fun and you're just by yourself. Like yeah, I don't know. I get that, but I like I like board games the same way I like video games. I like to play them with other people more than I like to play them by myself. I like a social experience. Like I don't know. Most of the the two player board games are the ones that I don't like as much because I like a social experience. Like, I'm See, not a big fan of men, call it chess, checkers. Are girls just different than boys? Because whenever my my gal friends come over, the last thing we want to do is play a board game. We sit and we talk. The whole day. The We eat food and we talk. The whole day. We talk about makeup, boys, clothes, whatever. And then you we can... eat coffee, we drink coffee, <laughs> or we eat food. Like, that's what we do. We don't play board games. <laughs> I, think, I think you just think there's a big divide and, like, all men are doing is playing games. They play video games. Yeah, while we talk. We do just as much talking, it's just, you do something while you talk because then you don't have to think about what you say, words just come more naturally. Okay, so that is our tier list. Let us know down below if we forgot any games, what your favorite games are. I feel like the future is card games, honestly. Like, um, like, um, Cards Against, cards against humanity. humanity, or like, um, I think the future is... I don't know, there's more like card games people play, I feel. I think the future is video games that you Or play. video games. Like, Jackbox. Jackbox! Yes, they're like they're video games just, you They're can, just board games that you, that you can, can play, play on your phone. On your thumb. With people, because there's a code everybody punches in. Yeah. But I, I'll be sad though, like, 50 years from now, if like, our grandkids have never played any of these. That will sadden me. If we had to play one game for the rest of our life on this list, what would you pick? Risk. 100%. No this sounds so child. I would pick Uno. It's the easiest to learn. You can play with any age. You can play with two people. Uno is a solid second. And knowing you, I would honestly maybe pick Uno too, just because we play that. Like Man Call is my absolute favorite. I would want to like, pick Risk because Risk is while, the one I have the most it. fun with. Well, that was the video. Please comment down below your favorites, if we forgot any, if you agree, if you don't agree. And if you want to see more tier list videos, let me know because yeah. I enjoy them. What I don't... should we make? Yeah, and what should we make? I don't really know if people still like them, but I do, so...
yeah oh and he's a musician so i'll leave his links down below check it out his outro my outro song will be one of his songs nice. you can check out our social medias the link down below and i hope you had a good christmas and a good new year's and i'll see you guys next week bye say bye bye <laughs> you are always on my mind always on my mind always on my mind Oh, you are always on my mind, always on my mind.